right, let me move down this way because I'm kind of look like <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Good morning, everyone. This is 7:40. A lot of car accident today, so uh, I want to say just please drive safe because that whatever I saw today, that was really really a bad car accident. I believe people don't pay attention on the phones, and that can cause uh, a lot of damage strategy. So please, please, when you drive in the lay, especially in the morning, be careful because a lot of people still sleepy. Maybe use a lot of uh, mota. You know, I see a lot of people driving high. It's not a good idea to drive high. But we continue our class today. We're gonna focusing on our upper body. Uh, we did really good work for activate our muscle less uh, yesterday. Now it's time to work on our upper body. So thoracic mobility, the shoulders, neck. And we start our class to pulling, sitting position, pulling our up with this attach little strain to your head. Just imagine that and it's pull all the way up. So try to straight your spine and start breathe through your nose. You can close your eyes, the inhale. Try to extend all your body to all different directions. Forward, left, right, backward, I mean to the back, a little bit up too. Big inhale, exhale. When you exhale, pull your stomach a little bit in, tuck the in. Activate all this muscle. Your breathing muscle. It's really important. Keep breathing in and out. You can also place your both hands on the belly and kind of apply a little bit of pressure and breathe with this pressure. In this way, you're gonna feel exactly if one side pushing harder than other. Inhale, exhale. This feels great. Great, now slightly get your hands on the side of your body and push to the side, feel the side muscle. Really good. Keep breathing. Keep extending your body to the side. Really good. Couple more. And release the stance. Now our hands is coming right on our chest and kind of push the pecs muscle down, all chest. And now you start breathing in, inhale. Don't try to make that chest rise up. When you exhale, push a little bit more down your arm apply more pressure really good
Now slowly start raise your head up. Look up, but your arm is pushing this chest down. And now, when you exhale, tuck your chin and try to touch the sternum. Inhale, up, pull that up. Feel that good stretch in front. Feel that pulling and down. Up and down. Up. Feel this good sensation, pull-in sensation, great. Excellent. Let's continue on our douch hump and our anterior tilt. A lot of people get this tilt. This is called tuning fork. You use big thumb and index finger, you place right on that chin. And all you do here, you tuck your chin towards your sternum and push in. My left arm is always constantly pushing down. So I create that real like shifted in the back. You can turn a little bit to the right and do the same thing. Just a tiny bit, don't turn a lot. Now to the left, switch arms, continue tuck, feel great. The next one, you're going to grab your big tom and place right in the back of your occipital ridge, just find that groove and just dump it a little bit down, go a little bit more on the side. I will show you on the better picture in our video. I mean, not in live streaming. So right in here, just hold that occipital area. Now start massaging clockwise. Just massage around this area. Really good. Now what you're doing here, you just bend your head just a tiny bit left and right and see where the tension is. When I go to the left, my finger pops more up. That's mean that muscle is more tighter in this area. Why? My head is probably shifted, tilted all the time, constantly. Great. Let me go turn back to you. I know it's aesthetically not good, but this is the way you can see it. Right in here. Feels great. The next one, you're gonna take that like a hawk, hog grip, and grip right. You find that spine and go a little bit on the side of your spine, just right in here. That's feel great. And all you're gonna do, just move your neck, rotate side to side, left and right, and feel. And at the same time, you want to kind of pull that finger to the side. So it's two move. Your neck is try to turn, not the bend, not the side bending. Rotation. So it's rotate left and right. And all you do is just kind of scoop that muscle and pull to the side. Just like that. You can also look up and down. Up and down. This is feel great. Excellent. Keep going. Self massage always great. You're doing really good. All right. And the next one, we will need the, our mini band. This is how we do put this head inside a mini band. So stretch the band, pull above your head and just attach to your back. Here we go. The band is in front of me. What I'm doing, just hold. You can hold with one arm, with two. Just make sure you don't pointing to your eyes. It's a little bit kind of up. I'm holding right here. Now what I'm doing here, I start turning my head 
to the left and right just a tiny bit left and right excellent left and right now I'm gonna tuck my chin and hold the band so I pull my chin tuck and hold the band I'm gonna feel a lot of restriction a lot of people do this by the wall all they do just tuck if you see on the side this is what I'm doing I'm just tuck my chin down you're gonna feel a lot of good sensation in your back muscle if you feel tension is good if you feel pain stop excellent couple more and this arm is going on the side of my body you see I hold it in the, in, in the front I mean on the right side here we go and I'm all gonna do turn to the right and all the way try to go to the left as much as possible without pain just where is their first restriction right there hold and breathe relax your shoulders only head turn more if you need there we go return to the neutral right again and to the left couple more feels great your neck is muscle active now we're gonna switch to the left hands come into the midline arm coming inside and switch to the left same thing turn and left here we go that's super restriction why because I see my right shoulder is going up and it's restricted motion so I need to reprogram my body to make this happen that's maybe all those car accidents happen because we don't look around anymore because it's not functioning anymore yeah if I can't look to the left and right check what's the car up there yes we need to always check those cars on the side before we switch line before we merge a couple more and release the band just move your head do bubble head I always do bubble head it's feel great you see I feel that restriction on the right side the left side is really nice bubbly like can shake and right is really restricted so I need to pay attention to this sorry left side so feels great here we go the next one we're gonna work in on our shoulders we're gonna shrug our shoulders and drop them down stress related exercise really great one shrug and drop shrug and drop feels great upper body yes all day long upper body we're gonna do around 40 minutes I'm gonna finish with our meditation and good to go ready for our Tuesday we're gonna stay here a little bit longer couple more and the last one you pull everything up squeeze all your glutes squeeze squeeze pull yourself up squeeze 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 more activate all your glutes shoulders everything spine see how you see seat sit on that bench stool cross leg position and slowly let it go wow that's feel amazing that's feel amazing that next one is called Batman all you're gonna do just get your fingers like that put them together index finger and big thumb and your three fingers just like that it's like a Indian mudra and all you do just place that close to your side of your body and boom just like that you can do one finger you can do two this is called pilot so you like put those glasses to my microphone on the way let me turn it away this is how it look like can do one you can do Batman so boom just like this what we're doing here we're flossing our nerves sometimes people tingling arm no, like tingling in arms 
could be the jammed your nerve in the cervical or in your shoulder also in your elbow we have another one or even in carpal tunnel right in here in your wrist so here we go couple more switch side if you do both that's all right it's great to see this one is a little limited because the, I think it's microphone yeah all right really great the next one you're gonna place this arm on the side and gotta get the palm down just like that and all you're gonna do just turn your head to the side turn to the left now a little side bending a lot of people use the uh, the band I don't really remember how you have to like rip around but if you do put the medial finger you see on the medium medium finger right on your palm is go around your forearm like this and now it's go around your neck so around my forearm and what I'm doing here I'm rotate put a lot of pressure on that band and I'm rotate rotate my arm I'm doing this the same oh yeah I feel that turn you see what I'm doing I turn towards that band and my arm is kind of flipped down my fingers oh yeah great exercise and the switch the different finger like uh, ring finger is going to be different uh, nerve you're going to floss different nerve but you can see this our video i exactly show you how to turn the band and uh, this is great video if you have any tingling numbness this is your exercise all right uh, let's switch the other arm left one to turn great excellent side bending just a little bit we don't need I see a lot of people doing this this the, too damage to your cervical area you don't want that feels great I feel all the way down my shoulder this is the great next one we're gonna work in on our rotator cuff mini band is here grab like a chain there we go just like that you hold it flip that band behind your arm push down and hold with the other arm this is the position make sure your chest is up he's not you're not rounded and you're not looking down you always look in front of yourself and all you do just rotate up and down don't rush yourself here we go a lot of crunching up there pump that's it crunch is gone we lubricate our joints the shoulder have to be super mobile and stable at the same time Keep rotated up and down. That's feel amazing. Switch the left one, hold it, flip it in the back, pull it down. There we go. Let's see how this one worked today. Oh yeah, a little bit more restricted, but that's all right. Amazing. Couple more. And release. This is great. I feel all this muscle. That's why I don't have that shoulder pain for a long time. And that's great. Thank you. Now you're going to grab that band like a steer steering wheel like you're driving the car stretch this band hold it in front of you and all you do is just stretch side to side you're gonna feel right in here this is your interior delts and clavicle clavicular muscle it's also good yeah stretch in front of you and now you're gonna start drive up down switch central up central left up here we go yeah where are we going David Malibu 
yeah, we're driving Malibu right now, so there we go. This is great. I feel all my packs, my shoulders feels great. Now our arms inside the band, you hold it and stretch a little bit in front of you. Make sure your elbow is not pointing out, the elbow stay in the line of your body. And all you do, you just start raise this arm up, look up and down. <sighs> up and down. It's great to do by the wall with a foam roller, but it's also works that way. <sighs> Keep that band stretch. Oh yeah. <sighs> challenging to keep this elbow inside you see my this one is pop up try to go all the way up yeah right there and release Whoo! wow feel all of it delts great work now we're gonna hold that band again like a chain extend our left arm to the side like an archer and you start shooting don't shoot towards your eye, towards your chin. We don't do any exercise. Turn the face toward the face. Why? Because if band is slap, it's gonna slap in your eye. We don't wanna lose our eye. If you do those exercises, I see a lot of people do. Please, please, please put some glasses on. Safety glasses should be fine. Only gonna slap you in the face. Wake you up a little bit. Keep pushing shooting now stretch that band hold and start rotate that fist that whole shoulder small circle you don't need to go big one just to, oh wow that feel great let's do 10 times one way and 10 times other way who i'm already burning i'm already burning and the next one, rotate in and out, the whole shoulder, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Oh, wow, that's just a killer. Shoulder killer, but this feels great. Bulletproof shoulder, here we go. Extend the right one and start shooting. 10 times should be good. Feels great. Excellent, couple more, and now rotate. And rotate other way. Now rotate the whole shoulder, oh wow, in and out. That's feel great. Oh, good pop for me and big relief. I feel all the way down. My arm is just, it's just great. Great, great, great. Let's go back to our thoracic mobility. It's also upper body. And this is called lie and you place your both hands on the knee. If you're sitting, just grab in front of you. Make sure you, get, you can open the chest in front. Here we go. <clears throat> and all you need to do is just Push your chest forward. Yeah, get that facets locked in your chest and your spine in the back and round like a cat. Make sure your head is look straight forward. You don't bow your head. Just shift that chest area. Inhale, ah, exhale, pull. That's feel great. <clears throat> Amazing. Couple more. And the last one, you pull everything up. Inhale. Don't forget to breathe. The whole secret inside the breath. Keep pulling your chest forward. And exhale around, round like a cat. 
like a cobra open that lats muscle feels amazing raise your arms up look up let's work on our side muscles drop the right arm on the side walk a little bit further lean to this side and idea is to lean and breathe try to look up and just breathe see if you can breathe that's the key that's great push yourself up reach up again left arm coming on the side drop look up and this is great breathe up here and push yourself up raise your hands up my right arm coming right behind my glute i'm not trying to lean i'm not trying to sit still and just rotate your upper body and try to turn and look behind you your hips is stay where you are in lower back we don't do a lot of twist up here so you turn look and stay and breathe here you can do mudra two fingers together index and big tom up right on that knee if you want to be fancy and look and breathe always breathe always observe what's happening to you is any emotion any some thoughts coming to your head i don't know you forgot to something like do today or you need to, to do just let it go be only with yourself when i started this training i always think about like what's what i'm gonna do next what's after this it's no next just right now try to turn look and return to the neutral position this is great we're going to lay down on our belly lay down on your belly and place your hands right out under your forehead so this is the position and this is called crocodile breath what you're doing here you really tr uh, push your stomach belly up and try to raise your body with your belly so and your hands is pushing down your head is pushing down it's like that push your belly raise raise up and release here we go big pop for me can you believe this one breath can adjust my lumbar area i don't need to go chiropractor push 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 up and exhale pull your stomach in here we go another pop if you feel soreness some tension just breathe and try to relax this area don't try to push too hard the breath will do the work really good couple more that's feel great if you have chronic pain this is your favorite exercise trust me now you're gonna place your hands close to your body on the side it's called cobra your head is still down you look down and now you raise your inhale you raise your head up try to look up now your chest is going up your lumbar air thrust me back lumbar and you look up now you go slowly down sorry my microphone very slow slow vertebra by vertebra heal your spine heal your body squeeze your glutes all the time squeeze that core feels great and let it go let it go tuck your toes you see this is the untuck this is the tuck tuck your toes place your hands close to your chest now push yourself up to this tabletop position 
spread your knee wide your foot together and go ahead drop your butt down to the child pose stay here each time try to go lower and lower and lower Now slowly, slowly raise yourself up to the tabletop position and we start doing our favorite cat and cow. Inhale, you look up, drop your belly down, try to connect your butt to your forehead, to your occipital, sorry. Look up and exhale round like a cat and pull your stomach in. Good. A couple more. Return to your neutral position and let's work on our thoracic mobility. Here we go. Place your one hand. Let's start with the left because the camera place left on the behind your head. Try to try to twist and touch your elbow with upper side knee. Don't try to shift your hips. A lot of people start shifting hips. The motion have to come through your chest area through your ribs. Inhale, exhale, and up, inhale, and exhale down. You might feel that pop. And exhale. One more. And return to the neutral position. Switch your arm. Now it's the right hand become uh, behind your head. Exhale down. Inhale up. Great. Return to your neutral position. Go ahead, spread your fingers wide. And what we're doing here, we're going to go to down face dog. The step your right foot, dominate whatever your dominant is, my right one. Push yourself up in that sprinting position. Now your left foot go back and you start walk your dog. Your foot heels down, heels down. Mm -hmm. Try to push that chest close to your knees. Walk. Great. Now right foot is coming up. Drive forward. Step and push yourself up. If you have a knee pain, put some pad. We continue work on our upper body. So don't make sure the knee is 90 degrees, you see. It's not put the stretch on your quadriceps or this is too far. Right in here. Try to lift yourself up. Get the, uh, the long band and grab like, I don't know, mid part. Make sure it's gonna be a little bit challenging for you. Not easy, not too heavy. There we go, hold this band and all you're gonna do, you're just gonna stretch towards your chest. You're gonna stretch couple times for four, four five times let's see how you feel now you're gonna start turning your head uh, head left and right left 
and right. We work on rotation of our neck. Great. Now we're going to start tuck the chin and go up. Tuck the chin and go up. Tuck the chin and go up. This is great. Couple more and release. This is great, great exercise. The next one, um, you're gonna place your hands behind your head and you kind of do the cat and cow in this position. So put your hand behind and all you do just round and exhale, push yourself up. Exhale in. Round like a cat, your spine, and push up. Tuck your chin. The chin has to be tucked. And open up. Up. And down. Up. And down. Great. Excellent. You did really good work. The next one, we're going to work on our hips. We have to do something with our hips. That's the hip flexors. We're going to work on this anterior tilt. A lot of people tilting this way, and its hip is locked because it's tilted this way. What we're doing here, try to push yourself up, and now you micro movements, move that hip forward and backward. Help with your arms. What I'm doing here, I'm navigate my hip to do that. You see, I'm tilted forward, backward. If you want more, you probably do this close to the wall and that band is come right on that hip and attached to something to the wall or uh, whatever, a squat rack and it's pull you and you do with this band and it's gonna give you more feedback and it's gonna be more prog progressive, progression, progressive and more beneficial for you. Really good. Now your knees going down right in here. And you switch your leg. Now my, as you can see, right down, left up. Again, we grab the band and start to do the same thing what we did before. Stretch a couple times. Why are we doing this again? Because it's a different pattern now. It's a, we have kinetic line and it's different kinetic line. We want to make sure they both work great. Stretch the band in front of you. And now turn your head. Left, right. 10 times. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, and right. One more. Left, and right. Great. The next one we're going to do extension and flexion. Okay? Stretch the band. Look up. Release. Stretch the band. Tuck the chin. You see, this one is a little bit different than it was before. Tuck the chin. Raise up. Let it go. Need some more bands. More tension. Up. And down. Up. And down. Great work. Drop that band on your knee. Place your both hands behind. And we've done this before. In. Inhale up. And exhale. Down. Inhale. Exhale. Great. And release the stance. Let's work on our hip again. Place this hand to help. And what I'm doing here, here we go. Completely not working. Look at that. It just jammed. Oh, yeah. Forward and backwards. So I'm doing this. All I do, just try to turn this hip slightly motion a lot of people doing this you bounce with your upper body upper body stay still 
only the hip. You see, this completely locked. It's hard for me to do that. Excellent. A few more, and this is how we're gonna get up. If you have a pain, you just, I mean, if you don't have a pain, you just push yourself up. And this lounge position, if you do, place your both hands and push to this knee, raise yourself up. Great work. We go and grab our favorite mini band and place on our foot. We've done this before. So I step in it, the band is on my foot, it's not on my ankle. There we go. The next one, the long band is always with me. Just hang out up here, it's not gonna distract you. There we go. And the first one, we're just gonna stretch the band and start working on our e-version, e-version, e inversion of our ankles. It's also help with this bunny toes. There we go, good pop for me. Really good. Excellent. A couple more. Now what we're doing, it's called the sprinter or the high knee with the band. It's working on our balancing. So here we go. You drive your right foot up and the left arm. You see, I'm trying to balance myself and release switch arms switch leg mm -hmm. try to look straight forward you're sprinting move your torso too everything work so you see that movements come with your torso and your hips try to hold that balance too there we go you see i switch my arms so up and down Feels great. And that's what we're looking for. Those hips. Great. Next one is called Monster Walk. We're gonna walk Monster Walk with bands on our foot. After we're gonna raise it up to our knee. And all we're gonna do, just step side to side. Get that bands in, t in attention all the time. I see people doing this. That's not gonna work. Always tension and small steps. You're gonna kill that glutes. Touch them. Touch your glutes right there. Yeah, they are they popping up? Are you feel they working? Great. If you feel that they working. If you don't, that's mean they not. And now every time you walk, every time you sit, something else working for it. Hamstring lower back muscle hip flexors and that's not good your glutes have to be strong all the time and active i see a lot of those big booties it's not the muscle it's something else i think it's the air so need to get the muscle an active muscle there we go keep walking now you can stretch this band and work in your upper body and lower body at the same time that's feel great yes stretch the band you can start turning your head left and right why not everything is working up and down there we go That's great. Keep walking. Whatever you feel strength. And let it go. Go to the midline. Perfect. Now raise this band up. Just a little bit below the knee. A little bit below the knee. And our favorite P-Dog. All you do, shift the weights on one foot. I'm going to do my right one now. I shift all my weights to the left. And all I do... Start raising this leg up and down. It's feel great. Oh yeah, burning, 
burning in my left, burning in my right. Great exercise. Couple more. And let it go. Switch weight to your right and start to your left. Up and down. We're almost there. We did really good work with our upper body. Like I said, if you have any serious injury damage like spine, fusions, you always do this exercise with an expert, with a professional who knows what they're doing. Who can do assessment and help you out okay return to the neutral position this burning now guess what we're gonna do monster walk now with the knee with the bands on the knee that's gonna be a little bit easier one but we already been walking a lot you're gonna feel it right away great great exercise for everyone for all ages and you can start stretch this band front of you work with his upper body you can do diagonally two different group of muscle this is pectoralis minors working now keep walking feels great almost there almost there mm-hmm Turn my head. Come on, we're gonna stay here another minute. Only one minute left. Don't stop. Get that glutes. Yes, keep walking, keep walking. Whatever diagonally straight, head turning, just make those glutes load. We need to get a little bit of fatigue up there, but no pain, remember. 30 seconds. Good. Almost there. My hands is good. My glutes is fire up. My body start waking up. 20 seconds. Great. 10 seconds. Ooh, shoulders dead couple more and three two one let it go let it go this mini band we don't need for now next one we're gonna work on our shoulders anterior delts step inside the band stretch this band a little bit wider than your hip all right here we go oh we adjust it just make sure it's not gonna slide off. Grab this band like you're holding suitcase. And what you're doing here, thumbs up now. Thumbs up, really easy. And uh, this is exactly where you're gonna go. Not to straight, not to the side. You go this 30 degrees right in here. Bottoms up, up and slowly down. Up and slowly down. Feel that muscle supported when you go down don't just drop your arm up and down a little bit more up david right here right in here not all the way up you don't want to put too much pressure on your shoulder but not right in here right about here the same level of your nipple <laughs> maybe a little bit more higher feels great and now both at the same time you see my band is stretching all different directions in the middle too it's also work on my pecs muscle I'm recovering myself great next one guess what we pull towards our chest get elbow in push it all the way up now hold this arm turn to the left look and breathe turn to the midline and turn to the right return and go ahead do a little bit more often
shake your shoulders this feel amazing all right chopping exercise you still step inside the band now what we're going to do you're gonna just grab with your right arm the band and cover with your left so you kind of like golf golf uh, you're holding golf golf club see I can I can get more band is gonna be more challenging for me the less you grab the less uh, less tension less resistance the more you grab the more resistance cover with my left I turn my hip first you see it's coming from my hip I'm not dropping my shoulder and I'm do I'm raising this up and pull this band up slowly return and up and slowly down I'm kind of go down up and down up and down feels great stretch pull that muscle you're gonna feel the good pull pulling sensation on your side yes and return switch the left arm grab it right right just to cover it and turn your right hip and turn to the left up This is great and release the next one it's called around the world but we're not going to around the world I, I show you what I mean you stretch the band in front of yourself and all you do you just rotate all the way down I believe right in here we should be really careful so just raise up above your head and down stretch the band constantly good up and down and if you don't experience pain yeah you can go all around in front of you bends always stretched nice 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 all around the next one what we're doing here you stretch the band and you go one arm Oop, hit my head just one arm good now left one. Oh wow this is super challenging perfect 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 nice next one is called no money drill if you're strong enough use the two stripes the two line of the band if not just the one line should be good your elbow is come close to your body just like that not away always in your big thumb pointing out so your band is inside on your palms hanging out on your palms you grab with your fingers and all you do just stretch this band to the side activate your muscle between your shoulder blades you squeeze them shoulder blade there we go squeeze 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 couple more and relief this is great you feel all this between the shoulder blades the next one you're gonna grab the band stretch right in here and all you do you just raise up and stretch band raise up and stretch band you can go as far as possible but no pain remember Don't try to drop your hand. A lot of people doing this. You can go higher. So the idea is just whatever. Work a little bit on the extension of your shoulder. Stretch the bend all the time. That's feel just great. And the final exercise to correct our posture is going to be wall angels. So go ahead to find the wall. If you don't, just look this around and you can do this after we've done our class. You're going to stay four or five inches away from the wall. Bend your knee a little bit. Now attach your butt to the wall. Now your thoracic area and your head. Make sure it's no space 
between your spine and the wall. If you're here, place some towel. A lot of people's head is going to be up here. So attach. Go ahead, push yourself towards the wall and start breathe. Apply your hands. push push here we go now watch I feel completely flat on the wall I feel comfortable I don't feel any problems now my idea is get this elbow on the wall without breaking the spine and place my palms on the wall you see super restricted right there I used to do that oh I skipped a couple weeks and now I can't you see this arm is not completely flat. I push myself and breathe now. <sighs> Each time I try to push my arms close to the wall. <sighs> There we go. Whoa, very restricted. Now I move my arms up and down. Try to not break my spine on the wall. <sighs> really challenging now for me. I'm more sweat than every other exercise. Oh, very restricted. Oh, I feel there's a lot of tension up here in my left shoulder. That's why my arms is not coming this way. I'm gonna stay another minute here and just breathe. It's really great connect, uh, postural corrector exercise. Yeah, something need to be adjusted today and something need to work on. All right, let's find our self in sitting position. We did really good work for the upper body. Like I said, do this wall angel every day. Three, four minutes, you will see the difference just doing that exercise. It's great partial correction, especially if you have uh, that kyphose. You slouch forward. All right. We did really good work. Bouncing my hands together, create this friction, create that heat in my palms. Now spreading my arms, I do not close my eyes. I want to be focused now. I want to see what's going on with me. And now I just see myself for today. What's my goal? What's my plan? And I'm trying to get achieve that goal. If something or someone gonna stop me, that's all right. I'm always go back and finish what I started. This is the whole idea. See yourself, think positively, always positive mentality. This is the key to what you've been looking for. And I know it's crazy world up there, a lot of negative stuff, war, uh, killing, the prize, AI. You're gonna be just fine. Just listen right in here and command here. This is the great servant, but bad master. So, let it go, this energy. I place my hands to the chest. I'm not follow any religion. I just bow to myself. I wanna feel my heartbeat. I bow to you guys, I bow to universe. Universe till I wake up. I get another beautiful day in my life. I thank you guys to support us, to watch our channel, to leave those comments. It's really important for us. Uh, it's not that many, but we're still going to answer them. And uh, negative, negative feedback is great too. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I bow to you more than everyone. And I bow to myself to wake up this morning, to take care of myself. And I feel great. We'll see you on Thursday at 7.30, LA time. You enjoy your day. Bye-bye.